SSD cream, also known as silver sulfadiazine, is used with other treatments to help prevent and treat wound infections in patients with serious burns. It works by stopping the growth of bacteria that may infect an open wound, decreasing the risk of the bacteria spreading to surrounding skin or causing a serious blood infection. It belongs to a class of drugs known as sulfa antibiotics. It's important to note that SSD cream must not be used on premature babies or on newborns during the first two months of life due to the risk of serious side effects. It's best to use SSD cream as directed by your healthcare provider to ensure optimal effectiveness. Before using SSD cream, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. This medication is only for use on the skin and should not be applied around the eyes unless directed by your doctor. Your healthcare professional will clean the wound and remove dead tissue to aid in the healing process. Follow your doctor's instructions and apply the medication to the wound one to two times daily using sterile technique. The layer of medication should be about 1 16th of an inch thick or as directed. The wound should be covered with the cream at all times, and dressings may be applied if needed. Reapply the cream immediately if it rubs off the wound, and after hydrotherapy. Continue treatment until the wound is completely healed or ready for skin grafting, and use the medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit. If your condition persists or worsens, be sure to inform your doctor. Some side effects of using SSD cream include pain, burning, or itching of the treated skin, as well as a bluish-gray discoloration of the skin and mucous membranes. If you experience any of these effects, it is important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to seek medical attention if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of infection, easy bruising or bleeding, signs of anemia, signs of kidney problems, signs of liver problems, or any mental or mood changes. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's crucial to seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not mentioned, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before using SSD cream, Make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to sulfa antibiotics or any other allergies. It's also important to let them know about your medical history, especially if you have certain enzyme deficiency, kidney problems, or liver problems. If you are pregnant, only use this medication if it's absolutely necessary, and avoid using it near your expected delivery date as it may harm your unborn baby. It's also important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If you are breastfeeding, it's unknown if this medication passes into breast milk, but similar drugs have been shown to harm nursing infants with certain conditions. It's best to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. When using SSD cream, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this with your doctor and pharmacist. Always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. Some products that may interact with SSD cream include skin products containing sodium sulfacetamide, as well as enzyme products used to break down and remove dead skin slash tissue from burns and wounds, such as collagenase, papain, and trypsin. Additionally, some brands of this medication may contain an inactive ingredient called propylene glycol, which has the potential to interfere with certain lab tests, leading to false test results. It's important to make sure that lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this medication. If this medication is swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. Always be cautious and seek help if necessary. It's important not to share this medication with others. Also, avoid smoking or being near open flames while using this medication, 
as it can increase the risk of severe burns. Fabric that comes into contact with this medication burns more easily and can be a fire hazard. Washing clothing and bedding may help reduce the buildup of the product, but it won't remove all of it. While using this medication, you may need to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as white blood cell count, kidney function, and blood tests. It's crucial to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. As for the benefits, daily dosage, and optimal timing, it's best to follow your doctor's instructions. They will recommend the appropriate usage and timing based on your specific condition and needs. If you forget to use the medication at the scheduled time, use it as soon as you remember. Make sure to apply the cream to the affected area as directed by your doctor, and keep it on the wounds at all times. When using the US product, it should be stored at room temperature, while the Canadian product should be stored between 46 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 to 25 degrees Celsius. If you're using the Canadian 250 or 500 gram jars, be sure to discard them 24 hours after opening to ensure sterility. If you're using the Canadian tubes, make sure to discard them 7 days after opening. It's important to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of this product, never flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, make sure to properly discard it when it's expired or you no longer need it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to dispose of it properly. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.